so in this element we have 2 comma 6 so we have two uh, number of uh, shells so the period is 2 Num period number is 2 and there are six electrons so the group number is more than two electrons so 10 plus 6 which is 16 so the period number is 2 and the group number is 16 and if they ask you to identify the element then you know that atomic number 8 is of oxygen you have to learn that till calcium you need to know the atomic numbers of each and every element so the atomic number of oxygen is 8 so this has to be oxygen next we come to this i mean you might be asking this question is that why are there 10 gaps over there why why the first uh, period contains only hydrogen and helium and then they start uh, we start with lithium sodium and then boron al uh, not aluminium boron carbon nitrogen and then this group this period contains only two this contains uh, eight and then uh, the next one has 10 more elements so it contains 18 so why does this happen why are there different number of elements in different groups uh, different periods so the answer to this lies in the simple formula which we have learned which is 2n square this is the maximum number of electrons permitted in the nth shell so if the shell is 1 then it's 2 if the shell is 2 then it's 8 if the shell is 3 then it's 18 then 32 and so on so basically the first shell can take only two electrons and in the first period which shell is getting filled the first shell so if it can take only two electrons then we cannot have more than two elements in the first period because electrons will increase by one only they cannot increase by half or quarter so hydrogen will have electronic configuration one helium will have two so after this the first shell will get filled then we will have to move on to the next shell which is the second shell now the second shell lithium will have 2 comma 1 and this can continue till 2 comma 8 since the second shell can contain a maximum of 8 electrons so that is why we have 8 elements in the second period and after that we will we have 2 8 1 2 8 2 2 8 3 then we have 18 electrons as maximum in number of electrons in the third shell so they can continue from 281 to 28 basically it should not go to 2818 as such but it has the capacity to take 18 electrons so we have 18 elements to fill the third shell so that is why we have different number of elements in different groups and
the so we have in the first period sorry uh, i was talking about period so in the first period we have two elements as the first uh, first shell can take only up to two electrons in the second period we have eight elements as the second shell can take up to eight electrons and in the third we have 18 because the third shell can take 18 electrons so and so on we need uh, after calcium it gets a bit i mean haphazard out of our um, case study so that is why we will confine it only up till calcium so if anyone asks you why there are different p number of elements in the first and second period so you can say that uh, the first period contains two elements because the first shell is getting filled and it can co contain not more than two electrons so this is another potential question in the exam and they might ask you ask you questions like um there is this or you can say x and y are two elements the electronic configuration of x is or the atomic number of x is 12 the atomic number of y is 20 so what is the relation i mean uh, are they in the same group are x and y in the same group same period or neither so what can you infer about x and y or do they have the same properties they might ask you do they have the same properties so if you find that they are in the same group then you can say that yes they have the same properties so how to find that they are in the same group write down their electronic configurations 2 8 and then 2 and this will be 2 8 8 2 so what do we find both have the same number of electrons in the outermost shell and if they have the same number of electrons in the outermost shell then what are they they are in the same group because elements in the same group will have the same number of electrons in the outermost shell so x and y are in the same group so they will have similar properties and if they ask you if x and y are two elements x's atomic number is 15 and y's atomic number is suppose mm, 11 then what will you say 15 will be can be broken up into 2 8 5 and 11 will be broken up into 2 8 1 so number of electrons in the outermost shell is not equal but what is equal is the number of shells so if the number of shells are equal what what does it say that they belong to the same period and in same period the properties are not same properties are similar only in the same group so x and y and if they ask you to identify then this is sodium and this is i think it's um, phosphorus so uh, they do not they belong to the same period but they will not have similar properties 
See, sodium is a metal and phosphorus is a non-metal. So, how can they have similar properties? So, that is why they will only belong to the same period and uh, not to the same group.